overarching theme is social equality, uh, police brutality, um, media, news propaganda, the things that we unfortunately have to see. It feels to me as a black man day in and day out. It really weighs on me and bugs me that I have to keep addressing like the same thing. And people think like, oh, like, you're living your dreams, you spoken words, traveling the world and stuff. It's true, but I, I really would like to just write like love poems if I could. <laughs> but the reality is like Nina Simone said, you have the artist's duty is to reflect the times. I've watched war commence on colored kids who wither like acres of daffodils, anchored in bodies of bloody water where the deceased are greeted with a deep indifference. I've witnessed Temperamental white teens being tamed with tasers, but black babies with empty hands are oftentimes pacified with gunfire. I've even seen people pull their phones from pockets and purses like, like pistols to shoot indisputable proof, but, but Facebook footage is never a footprint for indictment here. The reality is, hands up or not, gunshots turn our torsos into hashtags. Therefore, we, we format tribute tweets and attempt to retract that trauma, but that, that trick is never a treatment for our trail of tears. Especially when, especially when, especially when. I do feel like we're making progress, but we have a long ways to go. So if something I'm saying strikes a chord or resonates with a student, just one, I feel like my job is done because that student can go on to change the course of the world. It's hard to break into this field when the first thing everyone notices about you is your race. Look at my face. Why can't I also inhabit this space? There's diversity in the birds and the trees, but we have not figured out how to guarantee the same diversity in the kinds of people that want to protect them. We are all looking to do sort of this broad reaching conception of thought through sound to be able to reach the listener and help conjure up images of the difficulty of living in this time period, but also the hope that's coupled with it in order to gain a deeper understanding and empathy. You know, these words and the music and all of these things that we're dealing with are just a, a means of trying to communicate a better way of being with one another. The harmonies. of all things. Resonating. As one. centers around the resilience of black women to imagine what it's like being born as a black woman into a world that's, you know, pretty unjust to you. Just how we've had to navigate uh, through so many things and um, really always emerge uh, you know, like still hopeful and still joyful and, you know, all of the emotions and all of the um, things that just, you know, go along with a certain kind of struggle.
always great to see someone as vibrant as Fred. His conducting style is, is, is unique, is very energetic, he's moving, he's, he's sort of in the moment, picking different pieces of this, and this, and, and I think that that's, a, that's really important to have someone that is rooted in the traditions of conducting while being so experimental. The main thing is to be as honest as possible, musically, really. Um, you know, it's, situations like this are a really good opportunity to, I think, step outside of one's comfort zone, especially when collaborating with others, uh, and being given an opportunity to share your sort of musical voice and identity uh, in a way that to add to someone else's vision. Reimagining this American made playing field built to kill my kind on sight, but the way I see it, the way I see it, we don't look the part or fit the picturesque European picture frame the same as Mona Lisa. See, our beauty be different, be curly, be, be kinky, be cornrows on cornbread fed figures cut to serve face flawless. We dictate the market masterfully, supplying the demand for cultural trends, appropriated on countless occasions, yet, yet somehow we innovate, we innovate, we innovate to no end. I feature this spoken word artist that I think is really able to put all of the themes that the song is about into words and communicate that in the most powerful, poignant way possible. His name's Orlando Watson. Um, and then I'm also featuring Andrew Renfro, one of my best friends, guitarist. We went to school together, and they're just integral to getting the message across. Kingdom come to make amends, recompense for sins against people of the sun, whose peace, whose peace, whose peace, whose peace, and it's still as it used to be. Peace ain't promised, your honor. Let's be honest and acknowledge that. It must be now.